You see this? Yeah, it's nice and all, but can you imagine if it was big enough to put the massive Model 12 right there in the middle? Now that would be something. Yeah, that would be interesting. So it's settled. What? What's settled? You're gonna build me a big one of these. How the hell do you expect me to do that? That's your problem. That's why I pay you to do all the things I want. Well, come to think of it, you don't actually pay me. All right, smart ass. Are you gonna build it, or should I start looking for another maintenance man? I guess I'll build it. Good, now get out of here, get, get. And by the way, I want it by tonight so I can use it for my TikTok and Instagram. It's about damn time. Did you do it? Did I really have a choice? Of course I did it. So to get started, I ordered a two inch diameter and 12 inch long steel shaft on eBay for $30. That'll be the main shaft or the center rotating point. Something sturdy enough to hold your Massey Model 12, but small enough so we can still move the rig on and off of sets. Then I needed something sturdy to support the speed rail. So I bought a 12 by 13 by one inch thick block of 6061 T6 aircraft aluminum for $110, also on eBay. First, I measured and marked all the holes I needed. Then I drilled two holes to attach two heavy duty flange roller bearings that I bought for $26 each. I wanted to use tapered roller bearings, but they were $250 each, and I figured you probably didn't want to spend an extra $500 when it really was not necessary. Next, I machined a big hole in the center for the main shaft. Then, to attach four standard truss lighting clamps that I bought for $5 each, I machined square notches in each corner to recess the clamp and make sure it would not shift under load. To construct the base, I used a two inch inside diameter pipe with a half inch wall. First, I put the pipe on the lathe and machined the ends to have perfectly flat surfaces. Then, to secure the shaft in place, I drilled a 5 16 hole and used a hand tap to cut 3 8 16 threads. For the base plate, I found two scrap stabilizer plates from an old computer cabinet, clamped them together, then cut out an area to attach the pipe. Next, I welded the plates together along with a 3 inch pipe segment. In order to prevent the main shaft from getting stuck in the base plate due to burrs created by tightening a 3 8 bolt, I machined a groove about 1 8 of an inch deep where the bolt contacts the shaft. Temporarily for the top plate, I used another piece of scrap metal and cut one side off. Then ground it down and attached it to a three inch long piece of standard two inch schedule 40 pipe. For a better top plate, I ordered another piece of the same pipe that I used on the base plate. So I do plan to make a sturdier top plate once I have that piece. I cleaned up the plates a bit with a grinder and then gave them an even color with some black spray paint. Then I just had to assemble all the pieces. Total cost, not including the two 10 foot pieces of speed rail is just over $200. And since you never pay me, there was really no cost for my labor. And here is the giant 360 degree rig you told me to build. Yeah, I really couldn't give a shit how you did it. Just go get the video guy and tell him to come film me on this thing. Can somebody take this piece of shit out of my studio? It's taking up too much space. <sighs> At least I didn't get fired today. To put the massive Model 12 right there. Now that. Why are you fucking talking? <laughs> I said my light too early. I said my light too early. I was like so focused on the thing, like I'm seeing it move. It just back. The fuck, man.